This video is sponsored by Squarespace. The original Nikon Z6 was missing three things. Two card slots for redundancy, the ability to shoot more frames per second, and a better autofocus system. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the autofocus system of the Z6 got better with firmware 3.0, but it still pissed me off sometimes when I'm trying to do simple things and it's acting a little weird. That's why I've been looking forward to the Z6 II and it delivers on exactly those points. So this is a pre-production camera and this is a very early first impressions because I've only put about 2000 clicks onto this camera, but I've got a lot of footage to show you and I've been impressed with what I've seen so far. The autofocus got so much better when firmware 3.0 came out for the Nikon Z6. Subject tracking was great, but I rarely use it. It was the eye and face detection that always gave me trouble. And trust me, I understand this alone doesn't define how good a camera is. I had my wife spin in a circle. In auto area AF with eye and face detection on, it kept up with her even when she had her back turned to the camera. Even when it lost her for a split second, it kept tracking her instead of just going haywire and focusing on the background. I even waved the camera around with her back turned and it still was able to keep track of her. I had my wife walk towards the camera to see how many shots would be in focus. Out of the 15 shots at f1.8, only one of them was out of focus, which is great considering the fact that I'm in my studio and the lighting isn't even great. Also, just like the Z6, eye detection doesn't activate until she is pretty close to the camera, but unless you're shooting with an 85 millimeter f0.1 lens, face detection at that distance won't result in blurry eyes. One new feature that some might not care about, but I think it's huge, is the wide area AF with face and eye detection. It will only search for eyes and faces inside of the box and being able to set restrictions when using eye detection can come in handy when there's a lot of people in the scene or you just want more control over your autofocus like here when i'm in auto area af and the focusing system is picking up on the wall instead of diana with wide area af that is not an issue now for the real test I don't normally shoot portraits this close at f1.8. Actually, nobody should, but it's a great test to see if the Z6 II suffers from what I call eyelash autofocus, like I used to experience with the Z6. After shooting 19 close-up portraits, 17 of them were tack sharp eyeballs. Okay, so here's the deal. When I took the camera out of the box, it looked the same, it feels the same and that's actually a good thing because the ergonomics of this camera are wonderful now from the two photo shoots that i've done i can say i like this camera better than the z6 for portraiture the reason why i'm saying that is because the hit rate is better i'm getting more shots in focus with this camera and that to me is a big win my question is how does this camera perform in low light how does it compare against the sony and the canon and that's something that I'm going to be testing out when I get the production camera. Does it make sense to do it with a pre-production camera? I only got to wait like a week to get it. So stay tuned for those videos. But I honestly, I want to see this camera succeed. I want to see this camera break even with all the other cameras because the Nikon image quality is pretty outstanding. The ergonomics of this camera are amazing. These lenses, these f1.8 lenses are optically really good. And the package that you get here, this is a big win if Nikon can pass all the tests, but only time will tell. So stay tuned for those videos coming really soon. But before I go, I wanna send a shout out to my sponsor for this video, and that is Squarespace. If you are looking for a website, blog, or an online store, you should be checking out Squarespace. I have been using them for years. My work looks great on the website, and if I wanna change up the look, if I get bored, I don't have to hire someone to make my website new again. I can just, at a click of a button, I could change the template. If you wanna sell something on the internet, you can open up an online store on Squarespace and sell your products and make a side, little side cash like I do. And they have 24 seven customer support. So if you wanna check it out for yourself, use the coupon code Manny and you will get 10% off your first purchase. And that is all I have for you folks. Stay tuned for more Nikon content later.